Hello and welcome to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted across all of the socials and today I am going to make a really fun Halloween card. I am featuring for my card today a stamp set that's actually part of an upcoming virtual retreat held by Copictopia. Well, their new brand is actually Crafty Stamp Company. And this is a virtual retreat. So if you are interested in attending, you can actually um, just attend it from the comforts of your own home. And there are uh, different tiers for the various kits that you can get if you would like to attend and learn a little bit more about it. I'll leave a link to the um, virtual retreat information so that you can check that out for yourself if you'd like. But that's where these stamps are, or this very large stamp um, came from, as well as the sentiment. And the sentiment is kind of what drove the design for my card. I did everything in advance already, so I made my um, midnight sky background with some Lindy's Gang's um, magicals, and what I was looking to do was create a lighter area at the bottom. Now, with Lindy's Gang's, it's one of those sort of dry pigment powders with a lot of um, sparkle and mica in it, and then you spritz it to get it to move around. So you don't have, you have a little bit of control over the colors, but you don't have a ton. So, you know, what you get is what you get. But what I was going for, and um, you saw a moment ago, I had two panels that I prepared. And I think this one ended up being a little bit more successful for the look I was going for. Um, I wanted a light area towards the bottom where I knew my pumpkins would be, and then darker sky towards the top. So with the um, pumpkin gals here, I actually, I did carve the face of the pumpkin. I took a craft knife and I actually cut out that opening, uh, all of the openings of the jack-o'-lantern. And then I positioned it where I wanted and I just used a white gel pen to um, mark my inky background here, my magicals background, and I use a pokey tool to poke straight through. So I wanted to poke two holes straight through that panel. Then I lined the panel up onto my card base and gave myself little pencil dots to mark where I wanted my lights to be. Now, this works great if you're planning on doing what I'm doing here, where I am making sure to position the LEDs of my easy lights right where my pencil marks are. That way they actually line up with the opening of the panel and where the jack-o'-lantern face will be. But I'm going to preview this in a moment, and this is why I, I do like to preview things in advance, just so that you can make sure that, you know, it kind of has the look that you're going for. So I'm going to hold my um, pumpkin gals, my whole scene here. Nothing's glued down yet, but this is how it would get adhered. And then I'm going to push the button, which I'm going to hide behind the moon. And that looked okay to me, but it it didn't quite look right because the light is coming from behind the panel, which has some blues in it. And so it's imparting a very greenish hue, like the blue and then, um, you know, the yellow of the light. It just looked a little bit odd. It didn't really look like a candle that's inside the pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is just take an alcohol marker and color up some vellum. So you can use any shade uh, you want, but I'm using just, you know, a nice light shade of yellow. And the reason why I'm using an alcohol marker is because alcohol markers are transparent, as is the vellum. If you actually shop the Pear Blossom Press um, website, you'll notice that Amanda actually sells colored vellum and it's for things like this where you want to tint the light a certain color and 
as well, you want when the card is not on, when the user has not pressed the light, to still have the, the look or the effect of some light. And so that's the purpose of this. And you can buy uh, colored vellum from Amanda directly on her website. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box if you want to check that out. If you don't want to um, get that, although it's a really fabulous deal because there's so many panels and in so many different colors too, the, um, the alcohol marker trick will work just fine. And because I want the light to be a little bit brighter, what I am going to do is I'm going to feed the LEDs through my panel from the back. This way they are a little bit closer to the pumpkins because I'm actually going to tape them to the backs of my pumpkins. And so this has the effect of two things. One, the light is closer to the opening, so it's going to be brighter. And two, because it's not having to come through that watercolored panel, it's going to be a little bit more true to the color of candlelight because it's going to, it doesn't have to go through that sort of bluish background. And as well, it's going to go through this colored vellum. And so it's going to look more yellow like a candle flame would. So that's um, another approach to attaching your lights to your project. You can attach them, um, just feed them through the panel. So the panel needs to be there so that it can block the rest of the wiring. It can block the battery, but you can feed the LEDs and the wires through your panel and just cleverly kind of tape them down so that uh, they are still hidden behind your die cut. And that helps you to get a, a brighter um, light and, and potentially more true to whatever color you're going for. So, so that's the, um, that's the, the trick of this. Now, once I took the battery off because with it sort of taped down to my card base and with the lights taped to my pumpkins, you're kind of tethered and you don't really have a lot of room to work, but you do definitely want to just make sure that you, um, just test everything, really make sure again, you know, do a, do a quick test to make sure that before you glue stuff down, everything does indeed look the way that you would like. So still nothing is glued down, but they, but everything is a little bit tethered together because, um, the battery pack is taped down. The lights are taped down. You can see how much brighter it is, um, uh, positioning it this way. So now I'm going to start to glue stuff. So I'm going to start with the moon. It's really, this one's really easy to get down. Now, Normally, you would probably want to stamp some instructions to push uh, somewhere <laughs> in order to turn the lights on. But I feel like this scene is so nice. I don't want to, I don't want to stamp the word push anywhere. So my plan is when I send this card, I will just hand write a note on the inside hey, push on the moon <laughs> to um, for a surprise. And so I'll just leave the instructions for the um, light up mechanism on the inside of the card. And that way, hopefully um, it doesn't go missed. Or maybe I'll just hand deliver this card. And that way, um, or I'll tell the parents of um, whoever I send this to so that they can they can help their kid um uh, with the with how to turn it on. Um, I know that's a little bit of a sacrifice. It's definitely, um, you know, sometimes you want form over fashion, but this time, <laughs> this time I kind of feel like uh, I'm going to go for the aesthetics over the function. So now to, um, to attach everything, I'm going to start by putting down some of the world's best foam tape, again, sold at Pear Blossom Press. And this truly is the world's best foam tape because it will be permanent after about 24 hours once you've given it enough time to um, completely cure. But you have about half an hour. I've never tested the limits of this because I've never needed more than half an hour. But if you 
accidentally get your panel stuck down and it's not exactly how you want it, you have about half an hour of working time to peel it back up again. And that has definitely saved me a couple of times on cards. So that's really, really fabulous. And then the second thing that makes it really great is that even as strong as it is, the backing liner is really easy to peel off, like super easy to peel off. So I really love that. Nothing is a struggle when you are crafting with the world's best foam tape. Now what I'm using here though, this is my low profile foam because I don't want to double stack the thick world's best foam tape because that is double thick already in order to give enough allowance for the thickness of the battery holder. So I don't want to double up on even more foam, but I do want a little bit of foam behind um, this die cut because I don't want the wires of the lights to be glued down so tightly onto the panel because that might end up putting a crimp in your wiring and you don't want to put any hard uh, bends or hard crimps in your wiring. It might actually um, disconnect the circuit. So the foam just gives a little bit of extra room for a soft bend in the wiring. And so I'm carefully trying to avoid the openings and but still have enough there so that there's a little bit of lift plus a little bit of dimension on a card is is really lovely. This helps to kind of set it a little bit more forward from the moon as well. So once I have this um, uh, low profile foam on here, what I'm going to do is carefully pull the leads, the wires of the LEDs. I'm going to pull those so that it's... Um, you know, as tight as it, it can be without, you know, adding any crimps or anything. And then I'm going to get my front panel nice and stuck down. So now everything that I need on my front panel is secured. And so that whole thing is one piece now that, and I can actually just go ahead and adhere this. Again, just softly bending the excess wires and coiling them in a nice open spot. And then... Um, adhering it to my card front. And that's as easy as it is to create this fun Halloween card where you can actually light up your jack-o'-lantern. So how fun is that? So here is a final close-up look of my card. I just love the sentiment. There is magic in the night when the pumpkins glow by moonlight. So that was the, t the inspiration for this entire card. And I put two lights together on the larger pumpkin and then w the third light from the easy lights on the smaller of the two pumpkins. So it looks like there's only two lights, but really I'm using all three. I'm just, you know, put doubling up two of them on the one uh, side. Thanks so much for checking out my video today. I'll leave uh, links to everything in the description box below if you want to check out any of the products that I used. Thanks again, and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!